Hello there everyone, I'm your German Snob and I'm here with another episode of Let's Play To The Moon. Now in the last episode we got down to the mansion's basement and now it's time to look into Johnny's secret room, whatever there may be in there. The door is locked, but we do have a key. Wonderful. <laughs> so let's see about that. Well, pretty dark. Like a cave, apparently. So that means we should probably turn on the light. Oh, wow. Looks like the room is full of what looks to be paper rabbits. Let's take a look at one. Yep, a rabbit folded out of paper. Origami. And what appears to be a stuffed platypus. Indeed. Oh, come on. Blade pie aren't hideous. But we might poke it just to see what happens. It falls down. Lovely. So we can also take it. I mean, there might be some significance to it. It is, if anything, a piece of memorabilia. Let's see if the kids know anything about it. I did. abandoned lighthouse. Well, we did get to take a look at it. <laughs> well, sure. If there's anything interesting to be found there, I am surely going to look into it. <laughs> to heck with it. Kick some butts, yeah. <laughs> uh, he doesn't really know how to talk about children now, doesn't he? Uh, well, whatever. Now it's time to see what the lighthouse is all about. From the way it's um, so far framed in the game, it appears to be a fairly important location. So that means that I can't wait to see what's inside of it. Now we've already seen it, right here. There it is indeed. We all forgot our parachute and sadly there does seem to be a passage down there from here on. So that means we have to go back to where we came from. So yeah. <laughs> now the music as always is really nice. And generally I kinda got to admire how this game, using very little resources, creates a very living kind of world. It's not only the plants and you know the vegetation and such that makes it what it is, but also stuff like these little animals that we find running and flying around everywhere. They add a certain degree of life to the world the game creates. I mean, look at these little squirrels there. I think that's really, really neat. And that's what I meant, this game does so much with so little. And that's something you can admire. Now. What is here? Oh, the boulder! Oh, it was a beach ball. Now that mystery is solved. <laughs> okay. And apparently we didn't look. Now what I was going to say... It is... <laughs> yeah, that that kinda happened. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. You know what they say about women and driving cars? <laughs> yeah. So, what is somewhat apparent is that the gameplay in this game is fairly limited. 
which well as I said there is not much to it but the other thing about this this game is fairly short most estimations I've read are that it's like uh, five hours I think well that's what most people say so while there is not really much to it it's just short enough to not overstay its welcome and yeah there's a squirrel or a squirrel well rather well let's take a look at the little animal Hey there, little rodent. <laughs> oh no, a fight! Ah, uh, let's defend ourselves against the squirrel. Oh, okay. So let's throw a shoe at it and yell the loudest. Oh. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I suppose I should. Ah, uh, this game, so silly. Though, as I said, it starts off fairly lighthearted, but it should take a turn to the more serious later on. I wouldn't know because that's the part where, uh, where I, where I stopped recording in my my initial playthrough. So anything that comes now is going to be completely blind. I have no idea what is going to happen. So let's see where this way will take us. And let's see what might be inside that lighthouse, except these other origami rabbits, or whatever they're supposed to be. So, can we even enter it? And what's that? A memory of River E. Wiles. Hmm. I'm sure we are going to find out whose name that is. But let's get inside the lighthouse. So far, it looks like you'd expect the lighthouse to look. You know. Fairly small room staircases, no elevators, what a shame. So there are the origami rapids we have already seen, but there is one displayed rather prominently, a multicolored one. Oh. Oh. Hmm. I like his ringtone. Yes. Yeah, why don't we take it with us? Now apparently the one calling was Dr. Rosaline. Who has now set up the machine. What the cactus. What's... <laughs> yeah, sure. I know. I am not quite sure why we would need a helmet for this kind of undertaking, but I suppose you can't be safe enough. 
So time to initiate. Here it goes. Last accessible memory, okay. Hm. All right. In time, we're moving the mouse toward the top of the screen. Let's try that. Okay, so here we are. Now we are still in the same house we were before, but I suppose it, now it's not the real one, but the, uh, just a um, just an image of it that Johnny might have in his memory. And these picture frames seem to be empty now. Though I don't know if there's any significance to that. Let's go downstairs. Okay. Looks about the same as when we last visited it. Maybe he's maybe he's in the basement. Which apparently we can't enter. Really, it does look like we can't enter any other rooms in this house, so that means we have to go outside. <laughs> and here the color is no-no. Which might mean that we are getting closer to Johnny. And, um... You know, because maybe he has a clear uh, image in his memories from... Okay. So Rusaline is her last name, okay. <laughs> Dr. Lorenzo von Matterhorn. Yeah, that sounds more like it. Hm. Oh, so... Of course he doesn't know that it's only a memory. Which means that he can't actively interact with the people who were there at, at that point in time. <laughs> One would assume that it, this kind of experience would be more disturbing than anything else. Sounds easy enough. That I am. So I would assume that for the memory to be implanted, he has to convince himself that it's there. That's a good question. And he himself doesn't seem to have an answer. Hmm. 
I agree going to the moon on just for its own sake is a somewhat odd kind of wish. I mean coming down to it, despite all the mysticism around, uh, surrounding it, the moon is basically just a big rock. Okay. I see. So the little thing we have up there appears to be a sort of progress meter for the game. Which means that we have to get back from the time now when he's an old person back to his childhood. Back to the roots, huh? <laughs> Jules Verne style. That's nice. Oh, we might just have one. And now we get a second one. <laughs> okay, then... I'm not sure what's the significance to the origami rabbit we found in the lighthouse. Received note moon. Then let's prepare it. Ah, uh, and now for the puzzle elements. Okay, so what's the deal here? Click the orbs to flip pieces. I see... I guess... Um... Let me think. I have no idea what exactly I just did, but it seemed to have worked. So let's do whatever we are supposed to do. <laughs> well, seeing how he gave us permission to enter basically his mind. I don't think he should be too concerned about his privacy. Oh. is the same song that the kids were playing. Appears to be the light motif of this game. <laughs> okay, so we can't interact with him. That wouldn't have been a bad idea. No, he doesn't seem like a psychopath. Okay. A memento. Interact with objects to establish five memory links. I think that means that we are supposed to find five different objects that we can interact with and use them to pr uh, make progress. Now there's another one of these blue and yellow rabbits. 
Multicolor paper rabbit, indeed. <laughs> uh, well, I don't think that the paper rabbits by themselves are creepy. The fact that someone bothered to make them and put them all into his house is creepy. But I'm sure we are going to see the significance. Now there's also that stuffed pla uh, platypus that we have uh, found in the basement. So... Can we... touch it? No, we can't. But I'm sure we can touch that umbrella there. Or maybe not. Oh, I see. So apparently it's some sort of representation of his memory that we have to use the, how are they called, memory orbs to interact with. So anything about that window? No, there isn't. So let's go upstairs instead. Now quite surprisingly there are no paper rabbits there, but a man. Who probably represents his further memories. What's that, a backpack? I can't interact with it. So let's go there. Maybe now we'll find an explanation for why these picture frames are empty. Oh, I see. So we are not supposed to interact with him. There is a glass bottle. Whatever the significance of that dialogue might have been. Can we go into the bathroom? No, we can't. Can we take a look at... Oh, the Emperor's New Clothes by Hans Christian Andersen. A fairly famous fairy tale, I'd say. So, there we are. So, can we interact with the lamp? So yeah, so far this really plays like an adventure game. Which I don't mind, I can take some of these once in a while. Fresh wildflowers, okay. So only one more missing. And a clock. That should mean that we have all of them. And we can enter the next memory, possibly. Memory link established. How do can? <laughs> A really, really dumb reference. Yeah. So here we have the professional one and the goofball. So their personalities are basically set. Though, hey, maybe the game is going to surprise me. Prepare. These screens really remind me of Assassin's Creed. The corner orb can flip the entire diagonal. Uh, puzzle elements. Let's see. Nah, I don't think that this gets us anywhere. This definitely does. This, however, doesn't. Now if we flip these, and then use the corner orb, and then this one, and then, uh, and then this one, right? Okay. So far these puzzles are easy enough, but I really hope they're not going to give me trouble later on. So that's another meta we can use to travel with. Activate! <laughs> we are sure making progress in this. So the rain doesn't touch them. Hmm? Okay. But now we are back with old Johnny. The scenery is fairly nice. Gotta give the game that. So, 
You know what, while I'm not really used to recording with Camtasia instead of Reps, the fact that it shows me how much time I'm recording is in fact fairly useful. Request three bars of memory. Hmm. Uh, is fairly useful seeing how I know that now I'm recording exactly 25 and a half minutes. <laughs> so I think that should be enough for a video? Question mark? Actually yes, I think so. Seeing how this game renders and uploads very fast, I might be going to do another episode of this today. But that's not important right now. For today I am your German snob, this is Let's Play To The Moon, and I'm going to be seeing you again in the next video. And until then, have a wonderful day and goodbye.